be the bulletin. And the government is calling for robust support programs to guide adolescents and youth through the intricate landscape of sexual and reproductive health. Speaking during a key conference in Mombasa, the head of maternal and reproductive health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Edward Serem, cited key interventions aimed at combating the HIV AIDS, gender-based violence, as well as teenage pregnancies. He said that children who become pregnant during school need support to complete their education. We need our girls in school. We do not need them in homes as wives. We do not need them at home taking care of cattle and babies behind their back, another one breastfeeding and cooking. We need our girls back to school. We need our girls empowered, well skilled, so that they can be able to take care of the society. The Kenya National Population Policy for Sustainable Development embraces a holistic approach in harnessing human capital potential for sustainable development. Apart from being human-centric, the policy remains all-inclusive and calls for a collaborative approach, just as spelled out in the 1994 ICP program of action. We've come up with uh, documents, we are training health workers, and at the end of the day we want to empower the young people, the adolescents, on how to take care of their own health. So Kilam to help in your own hands, and we are pushing for self-care. The young people come out loud and demand for the services and ensure you're taking care of yourselves. The Digital Health Act 